CBS 13 at noon time. The man who stabbed hometown hero Spencer Stone has pleaded guilty to attempted murder in court this afternoon. James Tran agreed to a nine year sentence. The formal sentencing will happen in May. I'm an Asian, lost son of no great distinction. Born a rebel, sowing seed to my own destruction. Bombed out in school, never knew I could ever learn. Destined to fail, almost past the point of no return. I'm an Asian, lost son of no great distinction. Born a rebel, sowing seed to my own destruction. Bombed out in school, never knew I could ever learn. Destined to fail, almost past the point of no return. Drunk and stupid, I knifed a man I didn't even know his name. It turned out that man was well known, a national hero, a great fame. I was running scared, confused. I ran from the law in despair, did what I knew best, chasing more drugs to forget all of my cares. Crashed and trashed my car. Cause I wasn't in my right mind More drugs to cope But always looking for cops from behind I would do anything To stop this fear from spreading Like cancer I cried out Wondering what to do But still got no answer Finally arrested A mugshot blinding my eyes And self-pity I blamed the victim for my demise Loneliness gripped me Till my sweetheart visited me Those visits are going And so I wish to be free Jill is a place of drama Playing on your dark side They're pretty good Keeping out of trouble On this wild ride Invited to Monday night church so i gave it a try heard the good news to have eternal life the money came by i'm an asian lost son of no great distinction born a rebel sowing seed to my own destruction bombed out in school never knew i could ever learn destined to fail almost past the point of all righty mr gatekeeper here sorry about that dang uh, loud lawnmower my cutting grass go turn the garage door down but anyway I just recorded this whole video trying to use this new uh, GoPro here and uh, spent about 20 minutes doing the video and found out that none of it recorded so how upset do you think I was <laughs> well now I know when it's recording it's gonna sit here and show me it recording so I'm just going to do the video again all right Basically, I had a fella send me an old school Palomar one driving four amplifier. Okay, here's all the parts that was in it right here. And it was done a unique way. Instead of using uh, ferrite material for the co combiner and splitters, they were using air core uh, inductors, which uh, required a lot of tuning points. So there were a lot of trimmers in this thing amplifier. And it was just a this. I, I wouldn't doubt this was built back in the 70s. This is an was an old amplifier, and uh, basically come to the idea of it just really wasn't worth fixing it. It really wasn't. But the amp meant something to him, and he decided to just do a build. So instead of just doing this uh, the way I normally would do it with the four transistors this way and the driver down here. I decided to keep the configuration the same. Hold on, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna let this gr uh, garage door down. It's a little loud. Got the kids back here swimming in the old pool. Y'all being safe? Y'all being safe? All right. Yeah, we about to eat some dinner out here, y'all. All right, let me get back here to the video at hand. So I decided to keep the uh, configuration the same. As you can see, if we turn the uh, amplifier here around like this, you'll see that I kept the configuration the same. Uh, what I went ahead and did is I just went ahead and took this board right here and just traced it out on a fresh copper board and uh, cut everything to the exact specs the four mounting holes and the uh, five transistor holes and i went ahead and built a gk 400 low drive sorry y'all we do get a lot of flies around here in the summertime i absolutely hate 
with a passion, but I will be inside an actual building, a, a shop here before too much longer. But uh, so we got this thing built for you, man. Um, you got an SSB delay switch right here in the back. This is Class C though, but we went ahead and gave you one anyway. You got you on and off right here. There's your red uh, transmit light, and there's your variable. Okay, the amp is working great. Uh, just just on the old servo supply right here, just hitting it with the four watt radio. It's doing about six seven hundred watts peak. And uh, when I go ahead and put it on the uh, unregged supply and give it all that it wants, it's doing you know 900 watts to a thousand PEP, and uh, had no had no problem getting about a hundred bird per transistor, which is uh, what we're looking for. All right, so it's still hooked up the way I left the other video, so it's still hooked up to the unregulated supply right now. Uh, but I will go ahead and unhook it and hook it up to the servo supply, which is just big enough to even run it. If I hook up the hot radio with the servo supply, it will cut off. All right, so we got the servo supply hooked up right now. And I'm gonna try to use my phone to record the wattage and try to merge the videos together that way. I'm going to try my hardest to do it that way, which I've already recorded them. I probably could just use what I already recorded, but just to be safe, I'm going to do another one. All right, I went ahead and repainted your, your, your top here because it was rusted pretty bad. I know you wanted to keep this thing looking as original as possible. Somebody attempted to print out a uh, front where did that front go I just had it I showed it in the video I just recorded who knows where it's at now but somebody had printed out and was trying to make it look decent with a new printout uh, calling a TX uh, a Palomar TX 450 I can't find the schematics on this amp you know it's so old so I don't know what it's actually called but now it's called a GK 400 low drive or I guess you can call it a medium drive since it's a 2879 driving four. All right, so we got the four watt radio. Go ahead and turn on the, uh, the power supply here and it's on 14. Go ahead and press record. It's on 14.6 volt, 14.2 volt, 14.62. There we go, 14.62 volts. <laughs> All right, pass through. So that's the pass through door, just a tad bit of movement. Not nothing to be worried about. And even nothing to have to worry about putting a tuning capacitor on there. Alright, flipping the amp on. This is on the servo supply, y'all, which is not going to be giving it exactly the current that it really wants because I can go from 14.6 volts on the servo supply with it doing about six, seven hundred watts peak and go over to the unregulated 100 amp supply with it doing 200 more watts peak with lesser voltage just because it's going to be getting more current the other way all right so this is on the small supply first go oh, a little bit over 200 bird pep go oh, right there about 650 700 watts Here's your input reflect. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. You see, that's another thing, man. When I build these amplifiers like this, I don't just put set capacitors in here. Every single point of tuning here, 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 here. Before it was done, there was a tremor here, 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 here. Four tremors. So this thing is fine-tuned. I could easily throw 100 right here, which it does have 100 right here, but it's actually 106 picofarad. I could have just simply just threw the 160 right here, but it turned out, I think, uh, 164. So I went through my big bag over there and found a 164 picofarad capacitor. Back here, tuned out to like a 118. So I could have just thrown a damn, uh, excuse my language, I didn't mean to say that, a one. 20 
you know, but I went through my 120s, found a 118, and then this is out here tuned out to the, uh, I think it was 220, 222 peak up there or whatever, but I could have just thrown a 270 on there or a 240 or something. So it's all fine tuned. That's just a habit that I got in before I uh, started getting in. It's a habit I got in in the beginning when I first started learning how to tune amplifiers, and I've kept that habit. But I do understand, you know, you can do a design, get it just right, all the lengths of the wire just perfect, and you pretty much can throw the same capacitors in, and it'll be fine. I do understand that. You know, there's nothing wrong with, with people that do that. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to turn this power supply off. I'm going to press pause on that recorder, and we're going to hook the unregulated supply up. And... Hey baby, what you doing? Just chilling? Chilling like a villain sipping on penicillin? I hear you. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so let's look up the unregulated supply. We'll show you with the hot radio. I mean the bench radio first. Then we'll jump over to the hot radio. And I do have a 22 ohm padding resistor right here, which ain't really needed, but that's just my style. I like to do 22 ohm. Yeah, the last video I recorded didn't even record. Can you believe that? All right. All right. Bench radio. We're just going to hit it real quick. I've Almost 300 birds. PEP, do 1,000 watts in the corner. And that was on 15.8 volts, which is a little steep. But once we hook up the hot radio, it will pull that supply down a bit more. All right. Now I am hooking up my Stickman Tune Cover 29, which is doing double the amount of RMS drive, average drive, whatever you want to put, uh, look at it. Wise. So this bad boy will swing 8 watts RMS while the radio just had would only swing 4 watts RMS. So this got to, this has a little bit more headroom if you, if you want to look at it that way. Alright, this is going to drop to 15 volts. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. It's already hooked up. Alright. Go. 400 bird right there dead nuts on go just a holding 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 and you already know it's doing a kilowatt so at this point it's probably doing close to uh, uh, 1200 peak or so something like that but this thing's working good man I'm glad it turned out look good you're pretty much gonna be looking at a range of 600 to a, a thousand watts just, just, just a matter of how much uh, drive you give it, uh, how much amperage you're going to be running on it, that you're going to be able to give it, excuse me. I could hook up the old uh, D-Rail radio if I wanted to, and it would probably be uh, really cranking out the watts then. Uh, there really ain't no need. There really ain't no need in hooking that D-Rail radio up, man. That thing is a monster. That thing is a monster. Should I hook up the D-Rail radio? See, that D-Rail radio is cranking. I don't know if I'm going to hook up the D-Rail radio. But I want to see what it's going to do. But this ain't my amp, you know. I don't want to overdrive the piss out of it. It ain't my amplifier. Hey, it's working. I'm going to hook up the D-Rail radio. I'll be right back. Well, actually, I ain't going to be right back. I'm still recording up here. Let's hook up the old D-Rail Cobra 29, y'all. We're just going to do a quick key. Nothing nothing major. Nothing major. All right, to do this, I need to hook a coax up to here. So I'm going to change this coax to up here. I already got a power supply hooked up on it. See, the D-Rail radio runs on this supply back here. All that dust on there. And I did that because I ha it was doing like 18, 19 bird when I got it. And I got it on that power supply so I could turn the voltage down to exactly 16 bird. 
because I wanted it to, I wanted it to do 16, you know, 4 for my first radio, bench radio, 8 for my next, 16 for that. But I guess the next increment up would have been uh, 12, wouldn't it? 4, 5, 6, 7, see. 4, 8, yeah, 12. Then 16. And I do have a 12 watt radio. It's in the house. So I could hook up a 12 watt radio if I wanted to. Alright, the D rail radio is hooked up. What in the heck am I doing? This is so crazy. Alright. Let's do it. I'm going to turn the amp off here. Just make sure it's keying. Oh. Let me turn it on. Alright, D rail radio's on. The meter is jumping for some reason. Oh. Oh. The D rail radio is on. Alright, we are just going to quick key this. Alright. Y'all can probably hear my kids out there screaming, going nuts out there in the pool. I think I might go jump in it myself. Alright, this is the Digger Rail Radio. Just a quick key, nothing major. Just a super quick key. Go! Oh. <laughs> Almost 600 burr! What's the voltage dropping to? No. 13.9 volts. Woo! Do that one more time, man. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> God. Oh, every time I do that, I get lightheaded, man. You'd think I'd be able to control myself. Woo! Almost hitting six, ten, 600 bird up in this piece, man. <laughs> God. On 13.9 volts. Just imagine if I could have kept that thing about 15 volts. Whew. That thing been doing for about 650, 700 bird. I think this amplifier is ready and checked off and ready to go. No doubt about it. All right, man. I think I scared my cat too. Or she didn't. She done not found herself a a mouse or something. She's 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 uh she's she's scared of something. What the heck? She done found boots. There's something under her. <laughs> she thinks she got something. There ain't nothing right there. She probably saw that moving and thought it was something. All right, I'm good and gone, y'all. Seventy thirds, old gatekeeper, right here around the northeast end of. Sure, yeah, I'm good and gone. Bye, bye, bye. Now that's what I call recording. 1656. I'm gone. Bye, bye. Press it again.